historical, geographical, religious and cultural factors play a vital role in determining the nature of costume in different regions. The availability of raw materials and the technical skills for producing the fabric contribute to the development of a certain type of a costume. Social and economic status as well as the people's occupation plays an important role in the choice of costumes they are likely to wear. A simple and single piece of kameez is a tunic worn as an upper garment along with salwar, churidar, pants or jeggings. The length of the fabric and the style varies according to the age, figure types, occupation and the ensemble. They are typically worn with different styles of salwar, jeans pants, drain pant pyjamas, modern day plazos or tight fitted churidar either with dupatta or stole. The learning objectives for today's session are at the end of the session, you will be able to select appropriate fabric to suit the various styles of kameez. Take accurate body measurements. Calculate consumption for the basic style of kameez. Prepare the draft and develop the patterns. Cutting the pattern. Stitching and finishing skills very specific to the kameez. The kameez as we see it today is a transformed version of its evolution over nearly 4000 years of Indian history. It is a component of an Indian ensemble that has withstood the political, social and cultural upheavals. The sari and the blouse are considered as a typical attire for women in India with equal importance given to kameez, salwar and odhani. The modern kameez is derived from the original Arabic kameez. It is spelt as K-A-M-I-Z in non-Urdu languages. This traditional tunic in Hindi as well as in Persian is referred to as kameez. It is sometimes referred as kurta that more often refers to a unisex garment. The description given by Dorothy Burham of the Royal Ontario Museum refers to kameez as a seamless shirt woven in one piece or wrap weighed looms were then suspended in early Roman times by cloth woven on vertical looms. The modern day kameez has a very close resemblance to the 10th century cotton shirt recovered from the Egyptian desert dating back to the 10th century. The contemporized kameez is called J. Laba or J. Labia. In India, the presence and history of this standard ladies garment is justified from the remnants of the 11th century feminine kurtaka with shirt-like features extending to half the length of the body with slits at the sides. The Angaraka style of kurta was with a cross over flap and a side opening. The ankle length fitted tunics resembled the Tunisian Tartar style. This style continued to be popular in Rajasthan courts even in the 19th century. The chapkan had slight European features with center opening and U-shaped neckline. The waist has a curved cut and the skirt has panels on the right which crosses over to the left and is fastened at the left side with pair of cords. Apart from the sari, ghagra and choli, another important costume depicted in various paintings and art forms is the kurta or the Persian shirt. 
these kurta have an opening at the neck and slits at the sides. The depiction also indicates kurtas with slits on the sides and gives an impression of an four pointed hemline. The important factors to be considered while choosing fabrics and styles for kameez are is very important. Let us look at the important factors that has to be considered while choosing the fabric and styles for kameez. When it comes to choosing the right fabric and styles for kameez, it is important to consider the following factors. Fiber and its properties, fabric construction and its performance, post fabric processes and finishing treatments imparted, occasion, event, activity and location. The style features and the length desired is also a very important consideration. Not to ignore, the figure types and figure irregularities. The silhouette is another important aspect that is the fit and ease. And lastly, the budget. The traditional block printed fabrics, embroidered fabrics, nets and lace fabrics, khadi and hand looms. Fabrics with embossed and crushed effects are also suitable for kameez. Kameez can be made from cotton, silk, linen, regenerated fibers or synthetics. Suitable blends of natural and man-made fibers. The best one is cotton since it is good for summers and very comfortable to wear. A number of blended fabrics and also fabrics with crush effect is available in the market. Pattern making and pattern cutting is an exciting craft. It is simple if the basic principles are learned thoroughly and exciting if the learner is sensitive to the subtle changes in shape and silhouettes. The silhouettes change in trend and fashion. The basic kameez pattern can be adapted and transformed into various workable designs based on silhouettes dart and seam locations, panels and length variations by alteration of the basic pattern. The basic rules of pattern drafting and cutting are based on sound principles and it is important to learn them thoroughly. In order to improvise, or incorporate any creative decision, these rules are broken, allied to sound reasoning. A pattern is flat, while the body is not, since the body has height, width and depth. Within this roughly cylindrical framework of the body figure, there are a series of body parts secondary curves and bulges that has to be taken into special consideration while designing a garment and constructing the garment by the pattern maker. Darts are the basics of all pattern making. The garment construction features like seams, darts, pleats, gathers, etc help in converting the flat piece of cloth into a three-dimensional form of the dress. This dress not only fits along the body parts and curves 
but also contours of the body to provide fit as well as ease for comfort and elegance. A pattern maker typically makes a pattern from a flat sketch with measurements or a two-dimensional fashion illustration. The basic pattern is the very foundation upon which pattern making, fit and design are based. The basic pattern is the starting point for the flat pattern designing. It is a simple pattern that fits the body with just enough ease for movement and comfort. Kameez length, bust round, waist round, hip round, waist length, hip length, shoulder, that is shoulder tip to shoulder tip, the neck depth, the shoulder width, the sleeve length, and the sleeve hemline circumference. Fabric consumption is calculated based on the formula that is two full lengths plus sleeve length. The kameez back is drafted first. Locate the top left hand corner of the pattern sheet. Leave 2 inches on the top and left hand side. Now locate A to B that is full length plus 2 inches. A to C is 1 fourth of chest. A to D is the natural waist length plus 1 fourth inch. A to E is waist length plus one fourth inch. A to F is half shoulder plus half an inch. C to G is one fourth chest plus half inch for ease. H to I is one and a half inches for inlay. D to J is one fourth waist round plus half inch for ease. J to K, one and a half inch inlay. E to L, one fourth of waist circumference plus half inch for ease. L to M, half inch for allowance. B to N, one fourth chest plus four inches for flare. F to S, half inch for shoulder slope. A to O, one twelfth of chest. A to P, one inch for back neck depth. A to R, one twelfth of chest. A to Q, front opening, that is, one fourth of chest plus three inches. Point 0.5 inches on the sides, 1.5 inches for hem, 0.25 inch on armhole, neckline and shoulders. A to B is equal to B to C that is 1 eighth of chest plus 2.5 inches. B to E is sleeve length and A to D is equal to C to F. D to E is equal to A to B. E to F is equal to B to C. A to G is equal to C to H that is one eighth of chest. B to I is equal to B to J 
that is equal to 1 inch. Now join H, J and G, I. K is the midpoint of H, J. K to L is 0 0.5 inches. Now shape the front armhole H, L, J. M is the midpoint of G, I. M to N is 0 0.5 inches. O is the midpoint of G, M. P is the midpoint of M, I. P to Q is equal to 0 0.625 inches. Now shape the back armhole that is G O N Q I. E to R is equal to E to S that is half sleeve round plus 0 0.5 inches for ease. Now join G R and H S. Zero point five inches on the sides, one point five inch for hem, zero point two five inches on the armhole. Please note that depending on the fabric and the raveling of the yarns, the seam allowance may be slightly altered. For sheer fabrics, suitable lining may be used. This is the drafting instructions to draft the collar as well as the interlining. A to B is collar height that is 1 inch or 1 fourth inch. B to D and A to C is half neck measurement. C to E is the same as A to B. Now mark 1 inch from D on line BD and draw the collar shape. The collar piece is A, B, C, E. Please note that the collar piece does not have seam allowance. This is used for cutting the canvas or the buckram fabric piece for stiffness. The seam allowance of 1 fourth inch has to be added while cutting the collar piece on the fabric. We begin with the front. Place the zip below the front opening on the wrong side. Fold the slit and put an edge stitch at the zipper teeth so that it is seen. Now moving on to assembling the front and the back. Join the shoulder facing right and right side facing each other. Spread the front and back and attach the sleeves facing right sides facing each other. Finish the sleeve hem by double fold. Here please note that we need to start sewing sleeve from the center. Join the side seam from the sleeve hem to the lower waistline by leaving one and a half inch inlay allowance. The next step is finishing the slit. Open the slit, double fold and stitch at the edge. Start from the level of waistline and continue the same till the hemline. Once the folding is done, add parallel stitches for a neat appearance. The steps involved for attachment of collar to the kameez. Measure the neck and cut the collar piece according to the pattern instruction. Fuse it on the wrong side of the collar piece. At the neckline of the collar, fold exactly according to the shape of the collar and put one presser foot wide seam. Take another piece of fabric 
and keep the collar facing right facing right and put a seam next to the canvas except the neckline. Cut the excess and slash the allowance and turn it. Leave one presser foot gap that is one fourth inch and cut the excess. Attach the collar from the wrong side of the garment. Finally, turn it and put edge stitch. The final and the most important step in any garment construction is finishing and evaluation. For that, cut all the excess threads inside and outside of the garment, neatly iron the entire garment on the seams and evaluate for finishing and fit. Creative expressions with necklines and hemlines add interest and novelty to the conventional kameez styles. With the use of appropriate textures and combinations, it helps to create optical illusion to accentuate the positive features and mask the negative features of the figure. The sweetheart neck, this is a curved neckline accentuates the neck. It can be used in kameez styles with or without straps. It is formed by two curves forming a heart shape. This is suitable for all body types and shoulder widths and slopes. Straight across, typically combined with square necks or strapped kameez styles. Straight necklines run above the breast. Off shoulder, the straps or shoulders drop laterally on the arms. It gives a very subtle and elegant appearance. Jewel, the plain rounded neckline just above the collarbone. The name is referred to the ability of this neckline to allow the view of a necklace or pendant. Halter, a neckline fashioned by the shoulder straps that linked at the back. Sabrina, similar to the betu, it goes from one shoulder to other with straight line that passes above the clavicles, leaving part of the shoulder bare. Halter strap, it features a V-neck or a sweetheart from neckline with straps which wrap around and convert at the nape of the neck. Queen Anne, it has a collar getting up at the back of the neck and a Y neckline of varying depth. In this case, the shoulders are covered. Gratian. The Greek neckline is characterized by a piece of fabric which starts from the center of the breast, opens to surround the neck. Combining different fabrics bring in stability and elegance to this style. Sheer and solids can be interestingly combined for casual and party wear kameez. Scoop U form neckline that can be more or less plunging. This style suits all body types and best suited for narrow as well as broad-shouldered individuals. The V-neck, a very common neckline, especially suited for broad-shouldered and short neck individuals. It forms a triangle and can be neatly finished with shape facing using contrasting fabrics. Betu, a wide neckline that runs horizontally, front and back, almost to the shoulder points across the collarbone. The square neck, neckline with linear side edges forming two 50 degree rounded corners. If the corners are perfectly right angles, it is called covert. High neck, the neckline that covers partially 
the neck and totally the breast. The spaghetti strap, a neckline that leaves the shoulders bare and has two very thin straps resembling a spaghetti. Asymmetric, also known as cleavage diana or shoulder, this style presents the bodice with a single shoulder strap and a diagonal cut. Illusion. It uses two different fabrics to create an optical illusion. The covering bodice ends with a shaped neckline above the breast which is joined by a transparent fabric or lace to cover the sternum to the neck. Cowl. This neckline has neck draped that falls softly and elegantly on the chest. Best suited while using lightweight fabrics with good drapability. The neckline finishing technique further add beauty and grace to the garment as well as the wearer. Color, texture, silhouette, detailing and value addition are the dominant features in fashion trend. Each season, interesting and inspirational theme emerges, occasionally spontaneous, often imposed by designers or entrepreneurs of the fashion world. Cold shoulder and ruffle sleeve tops are trendy and popular. Ikat, Kalamkari, Varli, Madhubani art and some of the other traditional textile art forms Motives and styles from various regions of India are gaining popularity both domestically and internationally. Hand and computerized embroidery, applique work, smocking, pin tucks and other forms of value addition is gaining popularity and expresses creative formats of the kameez. Digital prints are gaining popularity because of its versatility and innovative approaches. Abstract designs are all time trendy since it is preferred by all age groups because of the right of colors. And at the end of this session, let me recapitulate on the pattern making and prototype development for kameez. It is an upper garment resembling the traditional tunic with or without slits at the sides. Cotton and linen are ideal for the conventional styles. While structured fabrics, laces and nets can be also used based on the silhouette and pattern combinations. The consumption of the fabric depends on the width of the fabric, style features and detailing. We have also understood the multiple steps involved in drafting of the kameez. And finally, we have learnt the technique of pattern development, sewing skills that are essential for the prototype development of kameez. It is now an all time favorite irrespective of age or figure types. It suits all occasion and accepted both as a formal and casual wear in India. Newer styles and silhouettes are going to evolve since the trend is now moving towards synchronized clothing culture around the globe. With this lesson, now you will be able to independently develop kameez pattern and construct the garment. I will sign off for now and hope to meet you in the other sessions. Thank you.